This couple in Paradise City feel lucky to have survived the campfire. And you can see the house. But they lost their home. Went to let the dogs out to go potty and noticed uh, large embers falling from the sky, uh, two, three foot in diameter. No phone calls. Power was still on. Leslie is seven months pregnant, and like most others in their community, they don't have contents insurance. Who's responsible? You know, this. He, when, when, some, when our country gets attacked, we don't wait a couple of days to find out what's going on. Once we know what's going on, we go back and we we attack. We respond to the people that you know cause this, and that's what I'm doing. The couple is one of the plaintiffs in a lawsuit seeking damages against California's largest public utility. We have filed a lawsuit on behalf of over 20 people and we have a number of other clients and we continue to be retained by um, victims of this fire. The allegation is that PG&E's equipment failed, that its transmission line started this fire. In a written statement, the electricity company said their primary focus right now is on the communities supporting first responders and getting their crews positioned and ready to respond when they get access so that they can safely restore gas and electricity to their customers. The state governor Jerry Brown avoided pointing any fingers. There'll be plenty of time for accountability, but at the end of the day, uh, it's us that have to deal with it. So there is no other over there. Some estimates show that the latest wildfires could cost California over $19 billion. And that amount is much larger than most of the wildfires uh, that have caused damage in the past. And now the question is, of course, how uh, that kind of cost will be shared among uh, the federal budget, the local government, insurance companies, and some homeowners. The governor himself admitted that it is going to be a struggle uh, to obviously come up with that kind of uh, money. And so we know that it is going to take months, if not years, to see a full recovery in the state of California.